This is your EHC TV sports interview now on Comcast Channel 2 on Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. The entire TV show will be replayed on the radio on WEHC FM 90.7 on Friday afternoons. You may also be hearing this interview at halftime of the basketball game on WEHC FM. Now let me introduce to you our superlative guest, Caleb Jennings, All-American, All-Conference <laughs> Player of the Year on offense. Caleb, nice to have you on. Oh, thanks. Great to be on. Well, we got some stats here. First off, we have to mention what a phenomenal year you had. I mentioned the All-American. Uh, what, what, who has named you All-American so far? Um, the AFCA, uh, it's a football association uh, for the coaches. Is that the Football Coaches Association? Yes. Okay. Yes, and uh, D3.com still hasn't announced theirs, but we'll be sure and mention that if you do make that list as well. You had 1,371 rushing yards, I see, 14 touchdowns on the ground, 1,919 all-purpose yards, and 15 touchdowns overall. And you were recently named the ODAC Player of the Year on offense. I guess my question is, how did you manage to rack up all those gaudy statistics? Uh, you know, it's... People take statistics and uh, they put them on one person, and that's not true, really. You know, if I, if I didn't have ten people out there blocking for me every play, you know, I would I would lose yardage every play. You know, I would I would have negative thirteen hundred and seven <laughs> seventy one yards. You know, so it really is not me. You know, uh, my job is to make uh, one or two people miss, and everybody else's job is to block. And you know, we did that pretty well this year, and that's where all the success comes from. I think it's interesting that you mentioned it is a team game. Oh, absolutely. Individually, did you set any goals for yourself at the beginning of the season? Did you say, I want X amount of yards or X amount of touchdowns? And uh, do, you, do you think you met those goals? Yeah, you know, Coach Montgomery does a great job with us, too. Um, and he, he realizes that we have to set goals. And uh, we, set, we set many, I set many goals for us this year. And as a team, you know, we've we really wanted to win the ODAC and go to the playoffs. You know, unfortunately, that didn't happen. But, uh, you know, as individually, I set some goals. You know, I wanted to um, have 2,000 yards rushing and um, 2,500 all-purpose, and you know, I came quite short of that. But uh, you know, I felt like I should set my goals high and have something to strive for every game. Now, what about this team? You started off 4-0, but hit a slump mid-season, and uh, you lost three straight during that stretch. They were all really uh, tightly contested games. But uh, then you guys finished out strong, had three straight wins, finished seven and three, and uh, you know just missed the playoffs. So, uh, did you guys see yourselves at the end of the season uh, being you know in that position instead of being in the playoffs? You know, we really didn't. We we, we thought we were we had a really really good chance of going ten and zero this year. And if you look at it, uh, we had a bunch of opportunities that we just didn't capitalize on. You know. Uh, it's it's upsetting that we didn't make the playoffs, but uh, we found some things that we did wrong, and you know we we're trying to fix those. And you know there's three games we lost in a row. Uh, we just went through a slump. You know um, just things weren't clicking on offense, and things weren't clicking for the defense, and as well as special teams. And if you if you go back and look at the tapes, you can tell that just like three or four plays away from you know winning every single one of those games. And you know that's just that's how this game goes. You know you never know what's going to happen. Now, many points during the year, and you talk about this slump, uh, I guess this was kind of accentuated in the slump, mm -hmm. but uh, teams would load the box against you. You guys were primarily a running team. You had over 200 yards rushing per game. Uh, but people would load eight or nine defenders into the box against you. What kind of challenge did that present to you extra, you know, more than, than the normal when they would load the box against you guys and not respect the pass? You know, well, it's kind of simple. You know, if they put eight in the box, it's going to be a little bit harder to run with uh, other than six or seven. Yeah. But, uh, you know, people knew we were, were a running team, and, you know, that's okay because we have a running quarterback also, and uh, he did a great job for us this year. And, you know, part of my yards is because of him, because he carries out his fakes well, you know. And then when we go back uh, to pass, he does a great job for us, you know. Um, I know we didn't have that many pass attempts this year, but when, when it came down to it, you know, he won a couple of games for us in there in the last fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Certainly early in the year, they did, he did that as well uh, on some of those uh, long drives at the end of the games. Uh, but also the quick hitters. And you got to talk about uh, like versus Catholic, where uh -huh. you guys only threw the ball eight times, I think, in that game. It, I think you utilized play action a lot when you did throw that. Well, what was the game plan there? And, and was there ever a fear that you were running it too much? Well, you know, there, there's never really a fear that we're running the ball too much because if you're running the ball, you're controlling the pace of the game and uh, that's what you want to do as an offense and uh, 
we thought that our line was doing a great job against uh, their defensive line linebackers. You know, they were getting they were getting on their blocks and they were staying on them. So that's why we kept on running the ball. Okay, Caleb, you came from Richlands High School, mm -hmm. and of course, the, you know, you got the state championships right there. We'll talk about that program a little bit. Uh, talk about how successful they are and. and uh, how much you enjoy playing there for Richlands? You know, it's one of the best places to, around Southwest Virginia to play football uh, in high school. And he's, you know, Coach Mance, the head football coach there, he's done a great job with the kids. You know, they, they work hard. They have uh, awesome facilities now. They have a nice field house that was just built, mm -hmm. uh, brand new uh, turf-like hours. Um, you know, they, they have all the things to be a great uh a great program and they have been a great program you know they've won five regional championships in a row which is unheard of around here and yeah. uh, they recently just lost uh, I went to that game last Friday night and they just lost uh, it was a really good game but they just couldn't pull it out you know K Springs beat them by I think two touchdowns but it was a really good game but playing there means a lot to me and uh, you know, I know it's the same with Kane, uh, Ringstaff, and Shane Wicks, and all the other people that came to Emory from there. Now, I want to ask you a question about uh, the way you play on the field, your demeanor on the field. You're obviously a very passionate and fiery player, but uh, there are several instances where players from other teams will get called for personal fouls <laughs> against you. Um, and I think if there, were, there was a statistic that was kept on this, you'd, you'd be up there, if not yeah. the tops in the conference or even the nation. What is it about you that you think gets underneath players' skin uh, on the other team, and uh, do you mind taking the hit late if uh, yeah. it gets you guys 15 yards and marches you down the field a little? You know, I, I really don't. I don't mind when they do that to me, but uh, you know, it 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 gets old after a while. Uh, you know, when the Hampton Sydney uh, linebacker he he got kicked out of the game for uh, a couple things he did, little extracurricular activities. Uh, he, you know, it, he was just um, in the game, and you can't you can't get mad at them for that but you know personal fouls that I that they hit me out of bounds and things like that it doesn't bother me I mean it's 15 yards for the team you know if it's helping us and it's good now uh, how can we have you on the show without talking about those two games at the beginning of the year where you guys were behind and came from behind and <laughs> one and uh, one in particular that I want to talk about is uh, the one at versus Ferrum at the beginning of the year where in that last play that you guys had on offense Drew Pescovo hit you in the flats. You made two guys miss that were charging on. Uh, one of them might have even gotten face mask on you, and then you got into the end zone and, and basically put the game on your shoulders and won the game for Emory and Henry. Oh, uh, I, you know, I'm speechless about those two games. Uh, you, you don't expect that to happen. You know, the odds were against us on well, a thousand to one, probably, and. You know, Drew did a great job in um, you know taking us all the way down the field. You know, he. He called a couple of wrong plays off the wrong wristband, but I mean, you know, we're going to make mistakes during that situation when we don't have that many timeouts, and you know, we know that we're that clocks the clocks against us, and you know, we just have to go. And you know, he he did a great job. You know, he might have made a wrong read when he threw it to me, but you know, he he told me that he just wanted me to have the ball, and you know, once he gave it to me, I, I'm supposed to do my job and make people miss, and I made two guys miss, and then I had three blockers in front of me, and, and so, you know, it was a well-executed play, you know, and we were just thankful we, we got in the end zone. Yeah, well, nice job in his first start as a quarterback for Emory and Henry, and uh, oh, yeah. fourth quarter drive, come from behind, he got the win. But yeah, Caleb, absolutely. I appreciate having you on the show today. Oh, yeah, We'll definitely try to have you back. <laughs>